Hello friends, welcome to a journey through the rich history and evolution of English studies in India. We will explore pivotal moments, influential figures and the legacy that continues to shape our educational landscape. From the early 19th century to the transformative years of the Indian mutiny. Let us dwell into the past to understand the future. India, a land of a diverse language and cultures, embraced English during a time of a profound change and turbulence. But how did this colonial language become an integral part of our education system and society? Let's see. Our story begins with the Charter Act of 1813, a significant moment when the British East India Company decided to allocate funds for the education of Indians. This act marked the first time the British government took a serious interest in the education of Indian populace, setting aside 1 lakh rupees annually. Initially, the focus was on promoting Oriental studies, means supporting the education of Sanskrit, Persian and Arabic. Yet, this act also paved the way for the inclusion of English, sowing the seeds for a new educational paradigm in India. The Charter Act of 1813 can be seen as a starting point where the British laid the foundation for what would become a complex and often contentious relationship between English and Indian education. The turning point came in 1835 with the Thomas Babington Macaulay's Minute on Education. Macaulay's vision was a revolutionary and controversial. He sought to create a class of Indians who were Indians in a blood and color, but English in a taste, in opinions, in morals, and in intellect. Macaulay's minute led to English becoming the primary medium of instruction in schools and colleges. This decision faced the resistance, but eventually laid the foundation for the widespread use of English in Indian education. Another cornerstone was Wood's Dispatch of 1854, often called the Magna Carta of English Education in India. Sir Charles Wood emphasized the establishment of a structured system of education, from primary schools to universities, with the English as the medium of a higher learning. Wood's Dispatch led to the foundation founding of universities in Bombay, Calcutta and Madras creating a robust educational framework that integrated English with traditional Indian learning. This dispatch didn't just promote English, it laid the foundation for a comprehensive education system that aimed to uplift and modernize Indian society. The Indian Mutiny of 1857-58, also known as the First War of Indian Independence, was a watershed moment in Indian history. This uprising against British rule highlighting the gro growing discontent and the desire for self-governance. In the wake of the mutiny, the British realized the need to reform and restructure their approach to governance and education in India. This period of turmoil also reinforced the importance of English as a tool for administration and control. The aftermath of the mutiny saw a greater push for English education, as it was seen as a means to create a loyal and educated class that could assist in governing the vast country. The late 19th and the early 20th centuries saw a surge in social reform movements aimed at institutionalizing English studies in India. Reformers and educators believed that education, English education was crucial for India's progress and modernization. 
these movements led to the establishment of numerous institution that emphasize english education bridging the gap between traditional indian knowledge and the western scientific advancements the drive to institutionalize english studies was not just about adopting a foreign language it was about embracing a tool for intellectual and social empowerment empowerment a pivotal figure in advocating for english education was raja ram mohan roy a visionary reformer who believed in the power of english to modernize india born in 1772 roy was a progressive thinker who championed various social reforms including the abolition of sati and the promotion of women's rights Raja Ram Mohan Roy saw English as a gateway to scientific knowledge and rational thinking. He argued that learning English would provide Indians access to the best best of western literature and science, enabling them to compete on a global stage. His advocacy for English education was part of his broader vision for reformed reformed and enlightened enlightened India. one that could engage with the modern world on equal terms raja ram mohan roy's life was a testament to his commitment to social reform and education he founded the brown bo samaj which played a significant role in advocating for social and educational reforms roy's effort to promote english education were driven by his belief that it was essential for india's intellectual and moral development through his writing and advocacy roy laid the groundwork for a more progressive and enlightened indian society his legacy continues to inspire generations of reformers and educators raja ram mohan roy's vision of a modern india enlightened by knowledge and free from regressive practices remains a guiding light in our educational and social endeavors circumstances leading to the introduction of english in india the introduction of english in india was driven by multiple factors and first is colonial administration the british needed a common language to administrator the diverse diverse indian subcontinent english served as a unifying medium of communication and governance second is economic interest the british aimed to create a class of educated indians who could assist in the administration and facilitate the economic exploitation of india and english educated workforce was seen as essential for his pur- for this purpose next is missionary activities christian missionaries were eager to spread western education and christianity The Charter Act of 1813 allowed them to operate freely in India promoting English education as part of their mission. Next is modernization and reform. Indian reform reformers like Raja Ram Mohan Roy saw English education as a means to modernize India and eradicate social evils. they believed that exposure to western scientific and rational thought would benefit indian society evolution and future of india english in india since its introduction english has evolved to become an integral part of india's linguistic and cultural fabric post independence english remained an associate official language of india used extensively in government judiciary media and education it serves as a link language in country with a multitude of languages and dialects in contemporary india english is a symbol of prestige and social mobility proficiency in english is often associated with the better job prospect prospectors and higher socio economic status 
the language has also fostered india's integration into the global economy especially in sectors like information technology business process outsourcing and academia the english the history of english in india is marked by a complex interplay of a colonial interests social reform movements and educational policies from the charter act of 1813 to macaulay's minute and wood's dispatch each step in the institutionalization of english education has left a lasting impact while the initial introduction of english was driven by colonial motives indian reformers like rajaram mohan rai recognized its potential to drive social change and modernization today english continues to play a pivotal role in india's educational system and its socio economic landscape shaping the country's future in an increasingly globalized world Today English remains a vital part of India's educational and social fabric. It serves a bridge connecting India to global community, fostering opportunities for growth, innovation and collaboration. The future of English in India is a bright and promising. As we continue to embrace this language, We honor the legacy of visionaries like Raja Ram Mohan Roy and the transformative milestones that have shaped our educational journey. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the history, evolution and future of English in India. Stay tuned for more insightful content to help you ace your UGC NET English exam and deepen your understanding of our rich educational heritage. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more comprehensive guides and educational content. Until next time, happy studying. And thank you for watching.